Hello again. Um, the reason for this particular video is because I was having a theological discussion with a friend of mine recently who claimed that quite clearly God created the earth and the universe because everything about it, it was just too bloody perfect, isn't it? You know, I mean, the earth is the perfect distance from the sun. Thus, we have the perfect temperature. We have the perfect atmosphere to support life. We have perfect gravity. Yeah. And let's not forget the perfect earthquakes, the perfect fucking volcanoes, and the perfect cyclones. Yes, it's just bloody perfect, isn't it, this earth? I mean, it's ridden with bloody fault lines. Fault lines. They're called fault lines for a reason. Why? Because it's fucking faulty. According to my friend, God created a faulty bloody earth. A faulty earth we're living on. You know, I mean, this is what happens when you don't work the bloody Sabbath. When you should have been spending one more day finessing your bloody project. Making sure that those tectonic plates didn't overlap, that they all fitted nicely, that the magma from the centre of the earth didn't suddenly shoot out here, there and bloody everywhere and kill everybody living anywhere near it. You know, I mean, this is what God should have been doing on that first bloody Sabbath. Not putting his bloody feet up. It's like giving somebody a field to live in, you know, and saying, right, then you've got water and you, you've got animals and there's everything you need in there. There's trees and plants. Oh, by the way, I've put some bombs underground. They're all on timers and they'll just go off now and again. You know, don't worry about it. You might lose limbs and lives here and there, but hey, all part of the excitement of life. You know, just bloody perfect, isn't it? <sighs> now, calming down a little. Um, my friend says that uh, I'm not seeing the bigger picture here, that I'm being a little bit cynical about this. Uh, he says what I'm not realising is, he said, if you look around, everything's provided for us on this earth. Everything's provided. We've got wood to make things with. We've got, you know, the perfect air to breathe. We've got iron ore in the ground. We've got oil. We've got coal. Yeah, two bloody shining examples there, isn't it? Oil and fucking coal. Stuff that we can suck out and dig out of the earth and smoke and choke and pollute the atmosphere to fucking death. Marvellous. So now, not only do we have a faulty bloody earth, but we've now got a faulty sky to complement the ensemble. Marvellous. Just bloody marvellous. <sighs> I don't know how to finish this. Um, oh, look, a rhinoceros. 